Every week on AFTV Picks, we give away £1,000. And all you've got to do is enter our free-to-play competition and go head-to-head with me, win it, and uh, this could be yours. Get involved right now, click the link in the description, and you can play, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is be over 18 and uh, have some decent football knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Get involved now and you can win yourself £1,000. Hi, and welcome along to the Bias Preview Show. Don't forget AFTV picks. You can win yourself £1,000. You've got to get it in before the game start, all right? So before the game start tomorrow, and it's an early kickoff, 12-15 kickoff Arsenal in the FA Cup against Southampton. So make sure you get in, in early. Joining me is the man himself, White Yardy. Well, go on. Uh, yeah, you, you stopped arguing with me now. Yo, me not well, you, you... I may mean, not argue. We just different of opinions. That's what it's about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you're you Arteta in. I am, like, not sure. You know what I mean? Like, so. <laughs> hey, well, listen, you know what? To be fair to Arsenal and mm-hmm. Mikel Arteta, mm-hmm. I like the way he's moving in the transfer market. You know what I mean? We've done a deal today. Mm-hmm. Matt, Matt Ryan, we needed a goalkeeper. I reckon he might be straight in for the game tomorrow. because you know, so I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I think against Southampton, I think he'll play because I think it's going to be... I think he's been bought in for those sort of situations. Obviously, they don't trust Runnison to play in a game like that. They don't want to have yeah. to play Leno. We're playing them again on Tuesday. Yeah. You know, so I think that Matt Ryan, he's a very experienced goalkeeper. He was at Brighton, um, 28 years old. I think it's a great signing. I really do think it's a great signing. It, it, it and, definitely um, is. It definitely is. It, it came out of nowhere as well because out no, of one, no one was, it, it wasn't even no like rumors or anything that pop up about it. So, um, I like, I do, let me tell you something. I know, I know it's a loan thing again. So, I, I, I I mean, I'm not too keen on loans. However, in terms of a goalkeeper, yeah, definitely we need cover for Leno because Runison to me, I, I cannot trust. I get, seeing him in a team lineup, I have to rely on our defense to help out. Like you know, what I mean, like I, I couldn't trust him. So you know, I wouldn't fancy him in goal. Ward Prowse, exactly. <laughs> and, and the thing about this keeper is that we, we he, he's played in the Premier League, so he will be have that experience. Of yes. playing against Premier League players as well, and um, I know it's not great, but he kept nine clean sheets last season for them. So that's nine clean sheets. That's good. I don't care what anyone says. That's still a no, good, like a it's decent. It's a so it's Brighton's point. level of where they was, and even with us, could he remember? You know, like he's probably one of the reasons why we never even score a couple of times against them. So mm. yeah, de- definitely, it's it's been a good look. No brainer. No brainer. Number two. No brainer is a number two, and they've got the deal done early. And then we're we're working on this other loan deal for Martin Odegaard, who could come in as well for six months in that arm. Um, number, what's the matter with you? What are you doing? Know? Like, you know? I'm a be loan every minute. Loan, loan, loan. Come like a bank, a bank. <laughs> yo, be a bank. I got to yo. Beg your loan. Give me a loan. Yo, yo. Beg your loan. Arteta, the Arteta, the loan king. Yeah, I tell I tell I'm gonna have a whole heap of loan bills for pay back. Interest fee them gonna be high. <laughs> but listen, like let me tell you something. Like I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know much about him, so I'm not gonna, gonna come and act like yeah, man. And uh, no, he's he, a, he's he's a he's a he's a great prospect, man. He, he, exactly. He, he, remember, great prospect. I'll tell you a bit about him. Real Madrid. He was the hottest prospect in Europe when they signed him at the time. He's 15. Yeah, mm-hmm. the guy was playing for Norway when he was like 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's gone on loan there. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, they bought him. He hasn't gone on loan there, they bought him, and he's just not been able to break into the team because I know they've just got so many superstar midfield exactly. players, exactly. But he had a great loan last year at Rio Sociedad where he played really well. He is a number 10, mm-hmm. the type of player we're looking for. He's that sort of guy, he can play that's killer pass and create assistance. I, I think from now till the end of the season, I know you don't like loan deals. Yeah. I, you know what it is, yeah? It's, it's because even with Danny Sobias, yeah, it's like, now we've had him for coming, we had him six months last season, right? It was similar and then now we mm. had him, we have him for a full season. For me, it's like, the reason why I don't like loan deals is because these are not our players and there's no buyback clause in these deals. These are deals that we, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like 
you, 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 you know, like, we are training up the players for Real Madrid and, and get yeah, them to the level and get them back. It, it's Imagine what it is at the moment. But I don't it like is it. What because, it is. No, because the reason I don't like it is because it's like you're in a club now and you're talking to this girl in the club. You're buying her drinks whole night. Whole night you're spending your money buying drinks, buying drinks, buying drinks. And she have a man at home. And at the end of the night now, you think you're going to get the little, you know, sexy time. And she gone. Gone, the, gone back home. Yeah, after you done feed her the drinks whole night. She, the man gone home, gone get the drunk pum pum, and you will never get it. So, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't like low deals. For me, I don't like it. However, your analogies, man. Your oh, analogies. However, Robbie, however, you know what? Yes, we, we we need another creative midfielder because, as I said last time, I don't want, there shouldn't be too much pressure put on Smith Rowe. You understand? And if, just if he tired or fatigue and we need to give him a break, who do we put there? So, this young guy, Hopefully he can come in and do the job and, and fill a gap and you know do, do help we out in and some you never, way. You never know. He might and be if him, he, and if he's crap, then at least him go back. If he's rubbish, he goes back. And if he's yeah. if he's excellent, then we can try and sign him. Yeah, you if, know him, I mean? if, uh, if, if him excellent, we just hide the the, 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 the highlights from Real Madrid so they don't see it. <laughs> <going on. laughs> but at the moment, the way the market is, right? I mean, it's it's literally everybody's just doing loans. It's just the yeah, just yeah. market this pandemic. But anyway, the big game tomorrow, we're going to be predicting them now. Southampton versus Arsenal. We got them twice in a matter of days. Back we played them on back. Saturday. We played them again on Tuesday. And we just played Both. them in December, gone. Yeah, yeah. Played them in December. It was a draw when we played. Both games are really important games. FA Cup, we want to progress through to the next round. Definitely. Um, and then in the league, we're on a good run yeah. in the league. We want, to, but we're we're, we're playing. We're on a decent run at the moment. Yeah, we're on a decent so run. Um, can we go there and can we go there and get a win? Listen, Southampton bought these games. We, we, uh, we have to win both. It's, and I, I feel like FA Cup still has to be a priority in in the current state of the season and how we've been going. You know, we still have to prioritize this and know that still put out a strong team. You know, don't just feel like, oh, we're just going to play some other people and, and give others rest. I think we still have to have a strong team and a strong bench because to go out in the FA Cup now, it wouldn't be nice. You understand but you've got me? to keep back some of the big guns for Tuesday. I mean, I wouldn't play Smith-Rowe. Mm, I wouldn't but, play Saka. Oh, but, I, when I say that, I might have them on the bench, but those guys are not starting for me. They're so important. But then, no, no, we, no, you're telling me that, no, you're telling me you're playing Willie and, uh, uh, and, and Pepe. That's what I you're telling I, me by I saying would, that. I would, play, play, I would play Pepe. I'm not sure about Willie and I might, I think I might play Willock in that position, but I, I would definitely play Pepe. Definitely play Pepe. Is Nelson I, I back? Think, you know, we got to use our squad. Yeah, no, no, we definitely have to. I think Gabriel should definitely feature in this game as well. Gabriel, I feel yeah. like he he can. This would be this would be a good game for him to get mm -hmm. back into into mm -hmm. the squad. Um, Mari, if he's fit as well, could get a he's feature as well. Um, he's not fit. Mari so he's won't not be fit. All right. You know, Partey, I still feel should play as well. I feel like Partey should no. play. You know, what I mean, he should at least no. He should come in and still get another sixty minutes again under his belt. Um, I feel like it would do good momentum for him. Um. We still have to play a strong team, no matter what. I, 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 and yeah. and and you might be right with the goalkeeper that we're just bringing on loan now. Is it Matt, right? Um, so it might Matt, be good Matt for... Ryan. And yeah, I, I, yeah, I think they play, would go. I I'll, I'll play Bellerin instead of Cedric. I'd yeah, I'd leave Bellerin. Cedric. I'd leave Cedric in, until um Tuesday. So and just have a strong bench. If it's going wrong, you have got a strong bench. Um, see, well, sorry to go back, but you see, this is something I, I hope we do. I did see um. What's it, Ryan? Um, who who was the guy? Um, Sydney man, Southampton, right back. Ryan Bertrand. Bertrand. I see that there's rumors that we possibly could be say, um getting him as well. Um, we need somebody to cover for team. We don't have anybody. So even like the Southampton game, are you gonna play Kieran? No. But that's what I'm saying. Who do we put there? Ainsley. I know he had a shocker in the last one. But I play him in this. It's a chance yeah. for him to. It's a chance to redeem for him to... himself. And remember, in the FA Cup last year, in the semi-final and final, he was like man of the match. He was brilliant. Yeah, he did so, do very well. You know, we got we we can't just 
because he had one bad game. Bad game. I know, but, but away, you know what I mean. But I still feel like this window we should bring in a, a, a cover. Yeah, for, yeah. For I think Tino. I think we need I think we need a left back. I'm not sure about Ryan Bertram, man. He's I guess he'd be an experienced guy, but, but that is rather, experience and he can do the job for these type of games. These type rather, of games uh, like where we don't need to risk it, we can bring him in because he's experienced. Yeah. We reckon that, on loan. Yeah, no, no, let me tell you something. You see, you see I don't like the loans. You want loans now, yeah? No, 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 but let me explain something. The only good thing about it is I do agree that January, it, it, there's hardly anyone there to buy in January. Nobody really is going to get up and leave a club right now in January. Um, unless you're going to buy out players like out of their contracts and bring I'd them wait in. on that left back position. If wait till, yeah, wait till summer and, and get, get the some. Proper. I get a loan for that as well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So let's I don't, get yeah. let's get your prediction, man. Prediction. Two nil, two nil Arsenal. Ooh. Two nil Arsenal. Why not? New goalkeeper. Um. Two one. Two one to Arsenal. I think. Yeah. Um. Let's go into the next game. We're going to look at Manchester United versus Liverpool. Wow. Nil what? nil when they played the other day. Well, it was boring. <laughs> Let it burn. 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 You've been waiting for that. You've been well, waiting for that. Hey, it? listen to me. Listen, Liverpool fans, some are not all right, but you have a couple of them who love get at me on Twitter. Where have you gone? It's like Christmas come on and just disappear from Christmas, from, from, from. After Christmas, I have not seen them. Like, I'm worried. We have to start, you know, like when you, you put the, the face upon the milk cartons and put them up. I'm going to have to start sending them out to people now because I cannot find these Liverpool fans anymore. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, Anfield got burnedly down yesterday, <laughs> should I say. Well, you, know, you know what, right? That was a tip. Uh, did you, by the way, did you think that was a penalty? I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> it's not my team. I do not uh, care. But like, you know what? They, they Liverpool at the moment just look like I don't know. It's just they're a shadow of themselves at the moment. They, you know what it is, right? It's just it's not that they they still got more or less the same team apart from yeah. Van Dijk. Yeah, but they've just got so many players off form at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Salah's yeah. off form. Mane's off form. Firmino's off form. The brother, they've been off form. For me, they've been off, off form. form. Yeah. You know, Trent Alexander, all of them are off form. But and this is a yeah. big game for them. This is at Man United as well. Yeah, yeah. United are on fire at the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yo, hey. United as well also have a very good squad. They do, and man, United, yo. United, United, they could win this thing. You know, big up Fulham as well. We have to big up Fulham as well because you know, I've been saying Fulham play good. It's just yeah, man, the goalkeeper dash with a game where he just pushed on, the ball man. out to Cavani. They gave me like that. Yeah. Them thing about. Well, listen, um, but, but the thing about United, right, is that even when they go a goal down, they seem to come back and they're looking yeah. very strong at the moment. Let me do this one first. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna go for United. I yeah. think it's gonna be, yeah, I think it's gonna be another L for Liverpool, man. This is that, um, this is that Old Trafford, sorry, not Anfield. I, I, I think United, I'm gonna go United 1 0. I, I was, I'm gonna go United as well on penalties. Yeah, but you gotta give your score, man, about penalties. Stop trying to get stop trying to get smart. If you think it's gonna be a draw, this is after 90 minutes. Just say your thing. After 90 minutes, what the, these what these scores are in the FA Cup. So you think it's gonna be a draw after 90 minutes? Yeah, yeah. One right. one. What? One one. Yeah, yeah, one okay. one. Okay. Next game we're gonna look at is another team that about six weeks ago, every Chelsea fan was telling me how they're gonna win the league. Oh, the million. Every Chelsea fan was every time I did a video, all I could see was Zayech, Robbie Zayech, better than this. Uh, they've all right. disappeared now. They've all Z run. Like, Yo. <laughs> you're on about you can't find a Liverpool fan. You can't find a Chelsea fan for just right. Listen, yo, they, they, they are missing. Gone. They are missing right they now. Disappear. Right? <laughs> they might <laughs> move like Willian. <laughs> yeah, they got a little. They got. I mean, they got a tricky game against Luton Town. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, that's a tricky little game. That's a tricky little game. Looting a decent championship team. Yeah, but you know, but yeah, Chelsea like, are at home. I think yeah. this is. I'll tell you what. If this was a game with fans, yeah. and I know Luton, they bring yeah, foul. Yeah, yeah. 
They, they will and, turn and, and, this. And, and they would have put, but they'll put a bit of pressure on Chelsea. Definitely, definitely. Especially because they know how their, their current farm has been as well. Yeah. Like, listen, Any man, loss like, at all. Yeah. They're, and they're, that's it. <laughs> Frank, God. Um, you know what, yeah, like, I feel Chelsea will still win it because I, I feel like they still will do. Um, they, they will turn up for this. They know that they, 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 the players will. <laughs> they have to. They have to, yeah. But I feel like this game they will win. You know what I mean? It's the Premier League where they're struggling against the Premier League oppositions, really. Uh, I feel I'll go for a Chelsea 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. Three three yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it might be a bit closer than that, man. Well, we'll see. I think Luton, I think Luton are going to score. Yeah? Yeah, Luton are going to score. Um... Yeah, so, uh, somebody, I tell you the score. Yeah, look funny. <laughs> no, I'm looking on a piece of paper. Um, three one, three one, Chelsea. They'll have enough, but those those three goals, right? I think it, the two will come later on. Luton will give, oh, them, a yeah, sure. I think Luton will give them a little pressure. Um, Brentford versus Leicester. Final game we're going to predict. Ah, uh, Brentford, Brentford. They had a good run in the um the car. Was it car I remember which cup? Carabao no. Cup. Yeah, they yeah. Got Semi-finals, Final. and they play good at, at Tottenham yeah. as well. They did play good as well. Um, mm. Doing all right in the championship yeah, as well. But I still, I still have to go with Leicester. Leicester, right now, I feel Leicester like the team, man. Yeah, Le the Leicester team. in that conversation for Premier League again. <laughs> like oh, you have to, we have to look they, at they, them. They destroyed um Chelsea the other day. Yeah, man. So you have to, way better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like until they start dipping in form, I cannot see like really any team really. Giving them too much of a of a difficult time. They're actually playing very well and they're creating chances, they're scoring, and it's not just mm. one person. Every time we're thinking Vardy, Vardy, they're not, they're getting the goals from the middle as well. So mm. you know, um definitely Leicester. And I, I feel like it'll be a four nil Leicester. Whew, four no, nah, they're not beating Brentford four nil, man. All right. We'll come back in it for right, a Monday. I think, I, I, I think that's a, I think that's a, a two one. I think uh, Brentford will push them. Brentford got some good players, man. They, they do, they do. The guy up front, Ivan Tony, or his name is. They'll push him, man. Two one, two. Right. I think Leicester, Leicester will get the win in the end, but two one. Four, All right. So that, those are the predictions for the um this weekend's games. White Yardy, thank you very much. Big we'll up be back. Self. We'll be back on Monday. Then we have the games. Then on Tuesday to to look forward as well. Um, Maybe some more with... loans. <laughs> more loans <laughs> the loan thing Yo, we have to, we have to get Howard Howard the Halifax money in soon <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching and don't forget AFTV picks um, the link is in the description get involved in that right now chance to win yourself £1,000 by just mm -hmm. asking some simple questions you must get it in before the start of the game at 12.15 remember it's an early kickoff for Arsenal 12.15 tomorrow so get your picks in now.